How nice was it to finally, uh, I guess, have a week off pretty early into the season? Uh, honestly, I, I don't like week offs because I just it's hard to get back into it uh, immediately. I mean, I I think I played two out of the six days that we had off, and I still feel like I my, my touch is starting to fade already. So, I mean, I like I like week offs, but at the same time, it's in the middle of the season. It's kind of hard to to keep the flow and the chemistry that we had as a team. Is it your ankles that have kind of given you problems, and did that help at all, having a little time uh, off? Yeah, definitely. It definitely helped a, little, a lot. Um, I, I didn't get to go anywhere. I had school and stuff, so I just kind of stuck around here in Provo and was able to ice them and keep them up. So. How are, you, how are your ankles feeling? Though? They're doing a lot better. I didn't even tape them today. Probably should have, but they're doing, they're doing a lot better. Hopefully I don't have to tape anymore, but maybe just a light, light tape. So they're doing good. When you got off your mission, did you expect to start and be a, a – key element of this team so soon after your mission? To be honest, no. <laughs> not not at all. I mean, I uh, I was born to work hard, but I mean, I didn't think that working hard would get me, I mean, starting on the field, but it has, and I think that's the key. Playing a 4-5-1 is a little bit of a different look, and so you and James are sort of the engine of the team. How fun is that for you to kind of bear that load and have to bring it every night? Yeah, I, I played like that in club. Uh, we had a three in the midfield, so it was kind of normal for me to get into the four-five-one. I like being the, the engine of the team, I guess, if you like to call it that, but um, it's fun. I really like it. Uh, so far, you've done a good job of not allowing a ton of goals, six and five, but just two goals scored. I guess, what are you guys working on to try and get some more in the back of the net? Yeah, we just had a practice today, um, all finishing in different aspects of the field, um, but just to to create off in, the, in our final third to create the through balls and those those runs off the ball. That's kind of what we're working on right now. You, you got some experience in 2008. I guess just compare what the program was like then to now post-mission. When I came on uh, right after graduation, there was, there, I think there was like, I don't know, like probably over 30 players. So it was, it was crazy. Um, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of seniority I felt like in, in the year before they were a very very good team so um, we, we were expected a lot um, even as a younger classman expected a lot to to rise to the challenge and um, I think now <coughs> um, same same type of thing we still have to rise but it's uh, it's a little bit more close like the seniority is, is kind of like uh, disappearing if that makes sense there we're all kind of more one uh, second go around with Orange County. What do you expect in the second matchup? Uh, good question. Um, I think I think it's going to be a battle, just like it was before, and anyone can win. So we just have to be able to finish. Hopefully what did, we'll do that. What did you learn from the first matchup that you hope to to do again or or change this time? Around? I think we learned that we we can do it. Um, we heard that they were a very very good team going into it, and we we held it. We stuck it to them and. Um, I think that boosts our confidence, so I think we're going to go in, into it, hopefully not, not prideful at all, but to, to just be a little bit more confident um, and just go in there tough like we did. You are using the unique situation as the only college team in, in the PDL. So you play against guys like Orange County that have a lot of, I guess, studs from different colleges. What's that like for you guys, knowing that, yeah, they have scholarships and they have that thing, we have our own little program. That's kind of an interesting dichotomy there. Yeah, yeah. Um, Honestly, I don't even think about that. It's weird. Um, I mean, we, the the Fresno midfielder. I think he's 34. I think he's in his 30s or something. Yeah, I don't even. But I don't. It doesn't. It doesn't make a difference. I mean, you're a player. You're a player. I mean, we just had Winston come on. He's just right out of high school, and he's battling with uh, with you know BJ, who's I don't know 20 over 25. So. He's like 38. Isn't he? <laughs> yeah, something like that. So I don't think age is a big difference. Um, experience, I think, I think can be a difference. But I mean. Um, the maturity on and off the field with, with the players that we have, um, it's an amazing, amazing setup. Do you like practicing at night more or less than the uh, morning? Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I definitely like practicing at night, although I have to switch my schedule around. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it, I think it provides energy for the team.